This video is going to be on causes for a prolonged PT and PTT. There are three main causes for prolongation of PT and PTT, the first of which is vitamin K antagonism. And that's because the vitamin K dependent factors are in all pathways. So you'd expect to see prolongation of all of the PT and PTT times. Vitamin K antagonism occurs when the patient ingests a rodenticide that contains an antagonist such as coumarin. Liver failure is another cause for prolonged PT and PTT, and that's because the liver makes most of the coagulation factors, so this is again affecting multiple pathways. Support for liver failure on a serum chemistry would be low glucose or hypoglycemia, low BUN, low albumin or hypoalbuminemia, and low cholesterol or hypocholesterolemia. You would expect to see decreases in one or multiple of these things because the liver also makes all of these substances. So with liver failure, we expect to see decreased production of coagulation factors and also things on the serum chemistry, glucose, bio, and albumin, and cholesterol that the liver makes. The third cause for a prolonged PT and PTT is disseminated intravascular coagulation, or DIC. This is when there's blood clots forming within blood vessels. So you might also see thrombocytopenia because the platelets are being consumed or utilized during this clot formation. You'd also expect to see increased concentrations of D-dimers, and you'll learn more about D-dimers in another video. And because there are these clots forming within blood vessels, red cells can be sheared when they flow through those fibrin strands. So think of the fibrin strands as kind of like the spider web within the blood vessel. And as the red blood cells pass through that spider web, it gets sheared. So you look for schistocytes or red cell fragmentation. That's it for this video. Causes of prolonged PT and PTT include vitamin K antagonism, liver failure, and DIC.